香港已確認爆發病毒，官員們對該地區的疾病模式進行了檢查，得出嘅結論係一種具有流行潛力嘅病毒已開始喺香港境內迅速傳播。它起源於外國地區，並透過飛沫和空氣傳播。A viral outbreak has been confirmed in Hong Kong. Officials have conducted an examination of patterns of sickness in the area and have concluded that a virus with epidemic potential has begun a rapid spread within Hong Kong, originating from a foreign area and transmitted through droplets and airborne means. 该病毒的症状包括发烧、咳嗽、呼吸急促和肌肉酸痛。目前尚不清楚该病毒是否会升级为具有严重或致命症状嘅晚期感染，系对公共卫生的严重威胁。政府目前正在采取措施控制疫情。此时，所有公民都必须采取预防措施。The symptoms of the virus include fever, cough, shortness of breath, and muscle aches. It is unknown whether or not the virus can escalate into an advanced infection with severe or deadly symptoms. This is a serious threat to public health. The government is taking steps to contain the outbreak at this time. Precautions must be taken by all citizens at this time. 透过确保生活空间中表面同经常使用嘅物体嘅清洁嚟保持定期卫生，定期洗手或消毒双手，咳嗽或打喷嚏时要正确遮住脸或戴上口罩。请继续关注官方信息媒体以获取更多信息。Maintain regular hygiene by ensuring the cleanliness of surfaces and regularly used objects in your living space. Wash or sanitize your hands regularly. Properly cover your face when coughing or sneezing, or wear a face mask. Remain tuned to official outlets for more information.
This is an emergency broadcast ordered by Public Health England. An outbreak of an unknown contagious disease has been detected in Dover. Based on similar reports from Hong Kong and India, the symptoms of this disease are flu-like. No restrictive measures will be put in place at this time. However, if this disease begins to spread at a dangerous rate or poses a threat to the general population of the United Kingdom, measures will be enforced in a refined manner similar to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you begin to experience symptoms similar to an influenza case such as fever, cough, and sore throat, you should seek medical treatment to mitigate the spread. At this time, advanced or severe symptoms of this disease are unknown. If you experience what appears to be a medical emergency, dial 999. Bed like no other, a dynamic support system maintains your natural alignment while This is an important update. Please pay attention to the following information. This message originates from the Department of Health and Aged Care. A novel virus has been detected, originating from an individual located in the port of Brisbane. This virus is of foreign origin and spread within the population should not be allowed to occur. Residents are advised to be more wary of their surroundings and to protect themselves from infection by wearing a face mask and keeping a distance of 2 meters from others. Attempt to stay away from large gatherings. If anyone you know displays symptoms of coughing, sore throat, loss of appetite, or fever, seek medical attention as soon as possible. This virus has had numerous cases of advanced symptoms leading to damaging and even fatal cases of infection. If you experience a medical emergency, dial the 000 hotline. The fast spread of the viral sickness, originating from Sindh, Pakistan, is garnering the fear of the global crowd. In a global civilization recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, another infection is the outcome the world feared. In Karachi, the 12th largest city in the world, trouble has been brewing. A new disease, reportedly roaming around the downtown center since January, is beginning to rear its ugly head. On February 20th, a local government unit gave a public health and safety warning to its citizens, describing a sickness with minor symptoms and mentioning the uncertainty it could advance to. Ever since then, this disease has been spreading globally, appearing in developed nations like the United Kingdom and Australia, through unmonitored travel and, scarily, the migration of birds. The lack of commitment to limit the spread of this disease is causing an outbreak with pandemic potential. This brings concern to the world, as reports from a confirmed victim in Hong Kong showed that this disease caused perilous conditions within the organs of the patient, with an enlarged spleen and liver. Said patient reportedly succumbed to organ failure. The potential of this disease comes with great fear and speculation globally, as fears grow with the capabilities of this disease showing to be lethal.
This is a message recorded from a conference previously held on March 30, 2023. The novel virus originating from the Karachi Division of Pakistan has been studied, and official information is ready for release. This virus appears to be a filamentous, single-stranded RNA virus of the Filoviridae family. This confirms relationships to other viruses such as Marburg and Ebola. The Filoviridae family is known to be difficult to treat or cure due to the small target size of the disease. This new virus has been named the lacrimavirus or LCVIS-23. Based on numerous public health warnings given by governments, this virus was believed to be flu-like due to its minor onset symptoms. It is important to know that this claim is in no way true and LCVIS-23 cannot be treated like influenza under any circumstances. It has an extremely high lethality rate among reported cases, being an alarming 67% at the current time, while maintaining an alarming infectivity gauge. Its lethality is caused by crippling conditions it creates within the body. Even if a victim survives the virus, their immune system becomes compromised. All patients that have been infected with this virus more than once have been reported to be deceased. LCVIS-23 causes tumors and cell death in lethal cases. Similarly to the Epstein-Barr virus, it is associated with the formation of glioblastoma, a type of brain tumor. This is also varying from its relative, Ebola, as it is associated with causing these afflictions rather than combating them. LCVIS-23 resists common drugs such as ibuprofen. It is recommended to protect yourself with a face mask of grade 3 or above to prevent infection, as well as maintain physical distance from others. Thank you. El Ministerio de Sanidad en Madrid ha informado al Gobierno de España de la detección de una nueva enfermedad de origen extranjero. Según la clasificación realizada por la Organización Mundial de la Salud el pasado viernes, este virus se conoce como LCVI, siglo XXIII o simplemente como lacrimavirus. Este virus ya ha causado un trastorno general en la subregión del Mediterráneo Meridional, así como en Asia Occidental y Meridional. El LCVI, siglo XXIII, es una enfermedad contagiosa y mortal originaria de Pakistán. Sus síntomas de inicio común siguen el patrón de la gripe, pero avanzan progresivamente hasta convertirse en una afección invalidante. Los primeros síntomas son fiebre, pérdida de apetito, garganta seca y dolorida, y tos. Los síntomas graves conocidos que avanzan hacia casos mortales son taquicardia, agrandamiento del hígado y el bazo, dolor abdominal intenso y delirio. Cuando el virus pasa a su fase final, casi garantiza la muerte del huésped. El LCVI, siglo XXIII hace que el organismo pierda su capacidad para realizar ciertas funciones corporales, lo que provoca coágulos sanguíneos y fallos orgánicos. En los casos de supervivientes registrados, el virus daña el sistema inmunitario hasta tal punto que las enfermedades comunes pueden infiltrarse fácilmente en el organismo y matar a la persona. Esto da al virus la capacidad de reinfectar a la víctima, donde la muerte es casi segura. Con una enfermedad tan mortal ahora dentro de las fronteras de España, se tomarán medidas de inmediato para evitar infecciones generalizadas. Los negocios no esenciales permanecerán cerrados por el momento. En la mayoría de las zonas del país se impondrá el uso de mascarillas. Este virus se transmite por el aire, por lo que debe permanecer en el interior en todo momento y mantenerse al menos a dos metros de distancia de cualquier persona, ya sea un familiar o un transeúnte. En breve se abrirán recursos gubernamentales para proporcionar información al público sobre el LCVI, siglo XXIII. Gracias por su colaboración.
The spread of LCDIS-23 has been officially declared a global pandemic. Humanity is undergoing yet another time of suffering, a time that seems too familiar. Are we experiencing the end times? Yet what we're seeing here is so much worse on many levels. We're inching into an apocalypse. <laughs> I just don't know, Sean. I don't know. Good Lord, I'm just scared. This is a message from Health Canada. A previously discovered virus known as LCVI S23 has been detected en masse in Ottawa. This virus, also known as the lacrimavirus, was recently declared a global pandemic by the World Health Organization. Ceci est un message de Santé Canada. Un virus précédemment découvert, connu sous le nom de LCVI S23, a été détecté en masse à Ottawa. Ce virus, également connu sous le nom de lacrimavirus, a récemment été déclaré pandémie mondiale par l'Organisation mondiale de la santé. The virus was believed to be a respiratory illness, but it should be expressed that this is not the case. The lacrimavirus is a disease similar to Ebola and is incredibly dangerous. It is spread through airborne means. There is no treatment for the virus available at this time, and common drugs are ineffective. On croyait qu'il s'agissait d'une maladie respiratoire, mais il faut préciser que ce n'est pas le cas. Le lacrimavirus est une maladie similaire à l'Ebola et est incroyablement dangereuse. Il se propage par voie aérienne. Il n'existe actuellement aucun traitement pour le virus et les médicaments courants sont inefficaces. This situation has become a serious threat to public health. Steps are being taken to contain the outbreak but it is important for all citizens to take precautions to protect themselves and their loved ones. Cette situation est devenue une menace sérieuse pour la santé publique. Des mesures sont prises pour contenir l'épidémie, mais il est important que tous les citoyens prennent des précautions pour se protéger et protéger leurs proches. Wash your hands frequently and vigorously with soap and water. Avoid close contact with people who are sick, no matter if they have been diagnosed with LCVI, S23. Avoid large gatherings in crowded places, cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze, or wear facial coverings, quarantine yourself if you appear to be sick, seek immediate medical assistance if you believe to be infected with this virus. Lavez-vous les mains fréquemment et vigoureusement avec de l'eau et du savon, évitez les contacts étroits avec les personnes malades, qu'elles aient ou non reçu un diagnostic de LCVIS 23, évitez les grands rassemblements et les endroits bondés, couvrez-vous la bouche et le nez lorsque vous toussez ou éternuez, ou portez un couvre. Visage, mettez-vous en quarantaine si vous semblez malade, demandez une assistance médicale immédiate si vous pensez être infecté par ce virus. This is an actively developing situation and information may be sparse. Stay tuned to media and official government announcements for more information. La situation évolue activement et les informations peuvent être rares. Restez à l'écoute des médias et des annonces officielles du gouvernement pour plus d'informations.
This is an urgent directory from the United Nations. This message must be taken in high regard. We have received a disturbing notification from Islamabad informing us of the collapse of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. This was caused by the spread of LCVI S23, which is now classified as a global pandemic. Clearly, action must be taken swiftly. International governments have not been treating this pandemic as a serious threat despite the extremely dangerous attributes of the virus. The lacrimavirus capabilities should not be understated or sugarcoated. Given the chance, it will eliminate a large portion of the human population if action is not taken. We have reached an agreement on a motion with all nations reporting cases of the virus to shut down all borders and international travel systems to slow the spread. While these actions may seem drastic, especially due to the seemingly normal state of life just months ago, something must be done. We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. Please stand by. Please stand by. Emergency programming has been interrupted to bring you this national emergency message. The lacrimavirus, or LCVI, S23, has been detected within the boundaries of the contiguous United States. This virus is extremely dangerous and has already caused the major southern Asian nation of Pakistan to collapse. Starting tomorrow, March 20th, at 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the United States of America will enact a full lockdown of all non-essential businesses and services. If the situation escalates to any way similar to nations heavily damaged or collapsing, the entire United States will enact martial law. You must be aware of the virus's capabilities entering this emergency. If you begin to show any of the following symptoms, call emergency services immediately, loss of appetite, sudden and severe pain in muscles and joints, epistaxis or nosebleed, sudden abdominal pain, or any signs of hemorrhaging. This virus is treatable, but requires a surplus of resources and rigorous labor. Common drugs such as ibuprofen and antibiotics have no effect on the infection. Keep in mind that antibiotics do not assist in treating viral infections and using them to treat the lacrimavirus will drain your resources. For the lockdown standards, you must follow restrictions similar to that of the COVID-19 pandemic. If outdoors or in a public space, physically distance from 6 to 10 feet away from others. Wear a face mask. If indoors, block off openings to the outside. Use sanitization methods such as hand washing, deep cleaning, or hand sanitizing to keep clean. Shortly after the end of this broadcast, a regional governance system will be announced to protect the nation. This is a national emergency message. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this national emergency message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WOKV. We will continue to serve the Northern Florida area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the northern Florida area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated.
Due to the entrance and growth of LCVIS-23 within the borders of the United States, the federal government has announced an operation that will bring drastic changes to normal life. A system will be introduced, dubbed the Sector System. This new operation seeks to grant more autonomy to regional areas of the United States to promote the introduction and preventative measures aligning with the needs of the area in question. This system introduces six new administrative regions. Marked in green is Sector 1. This includes the states of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Marked in yellow is Sector 2. This includes the states of Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Missouri. Marked in purple is Sector 3. This includes the states of Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, and Oklahoma. Marked in blue is Sector 4. This includes the states of Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. Marked in red is Sector 5. This includes the states of New Mexico, Utah, Arizona, Idaho, Nevada, California, Oregon, and Washington. Marked in orange is the semi-sector 6. This includes Alaska and Hawaii. Semi-sector 6 will be less dependent on one another due to cultural differences and distance, but will cooperate together with certain issues. これは非常事態である。待機してください。これは非常事態である。待機してください。これは日本政府からの緊急メッセージです。LCVIS23のパンデミックが急速に危険性を増しているため、完全防疫措置を実施することになりました。LCVIS23は 約1ヶ月前に日本に上陸して以来、国民、特に若者に依存する高齢者層で数多くの死者を出しています。LCVIS23はマールブルグウイルスと禁煙の一本差ウイルスである。感染すると、ほとんどの場合、身体の機能不全
，无数的公民和官员死亡，总统目前正面临这种疾病的最后阶段。在这种严峻的条件下，作为政府运作已变得不可能。在可预见的将来，全国家边界内的土地将被保留，没有权限可以为您提供帮助，您必须自己生活。我们祝愿大家将来一切顺利。
Thank you.